One of the challenges in doing a 1031 exchange is understanding the terminology. 1031 has its own set of terms or words, its own vernacular. Some of it set up by Congress, some of it by the IRS. So when you are selling a property, the party selling the property to start a 1031 exchange we refer to as the taxpayer or the exchanger. It could be you as an individual, it could be a multi-member LLC, it could be a corporation, it could be a trust. So whoever is selling the relinquished property, whoever is on title to that property, we refer to as the exchanger or the taxpayer. The property that you're going to buy, we refer to as the replacement property. The property you're going to sell, we refer to as the relinquished property. You're giving it up. You're relinquishing it. When doing a 1031 exchange, you need to use the service like ours, and we refer to ourselves as qualified intermediaries, or on the West Coast, they're referred to as accommodators. We're a mandatory part of an exchange transaction that's done on a delayed basis. When the relinquished property closes, hopefully there are proceeds generated from that sale. Those cash proceeds are referred to as cash boot. But again, you don't need to worry about it. If you hear that term, don't get confused. Just think of it as proceeds from sale. Many times there's also a loan associated with that relinquished sale that gets paid off. That's referred to as mortgage boot or debt relief. There are tax consequences in regards to this particular element that we cover in one of our other video clips. I hope you find this information helpful. At Atlanta Deferred Exchange, we help you maximize the benefit of your exchange transactions.